We wrap up our week with Walt Grayson back home with us. And Walt has a story looking back on Mississippi's biggest accomplishment in 2018. And Walt, you say there really is one outstanding achievement in our state that stands head and shoulders over any of the rest. you got to tell us about it. Oh, absolutely. I don't think there's anybody any doubt about it. It has to be the amazing success of Mississippi's two museums. They opened in December of last year, so they've just passed their first anniversary, and they far exceeded expectations. We have ex exceeded expectations. We were estimated to have about 180,000 people and we've had over 240,000 folks. I'm pretty sure I've shaken all of their hands. <laughs> we couldn't ask for any more, so that tells us that people are excited and they were ready for this. Evidently so. The Museum of Mississippi History finally got a permanent home and the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum was created. And good for both, they're in the same place. You can see both museums and never have to move your car. Just go to the other end of the lobby. But why the success? Why did people flock to see the museums way over and above projections? Well, our two directors have some ideas about why. Pamela Jr. says the excitement over the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum is the fact that it is here. That, that it was done, that Mississippi did it right, finally. Mississippi has all these ills on the walls, and they told the truth. That was important, and I'm so glad that it happened. Well, the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum puts a microscope to a significant period of time in Mississippi history, while the Museum of Mississippi History paints the story of our state in broader strokes. Director Rachel Myers says people visiting her end of the building are surprised there's so much to our story. Um, it's always at this very spot here that all of a sudden they get up to this overlook and they're like, oh, we have a lot more history to go. People from all 50 states and 36 foreign countries visited our two museums this first year. And that brings up another entirely different but equally important accomplishment that Mississippi has an active and viable tourism industry. Um, now we're a place where people are stopping along their routes, going through the southern states. Well, Kevin Costner had it right in Field of Dreams when he said, if you build it, they will come. Evidently, Mississippi's two museums were built correctly enough that people will keep on coming. I'm Walt Grayson, WJTV 12. Oh. Yeah, William Hawker also said, you know, that the past is not really past. Well, no, he said the past is not really dead. As a matter of fact, it's not even past. <laughs> it's, uh, and the two museums uh, give us much insight of what we need to do into the way that we live now because of the way things were done in the past. And I think that's what history is. I mean, I think it does show you that that line right there and i tell you it it is done so well both those museums are oh they're, they're phenomenal if you haven't been there go there oh, really and... it's a good time to go too mm -hmm. because you got family in town make this apart see both of them yeah. it's great go and you don't have to move your car you're and, right and go now before the uh, the school kids come back right. for uh, school field trips that's right so. all right thank you Walt, sure. once again